Dear Andy, greetings from Omaha. This week I'm speechless in a good and bad way. Do you know that Albania is still on the map because of President Woodrow Wilson? To make a long story short, after the World War I, the great winning powers got together in a conference and wanted to divide Albania among neighboring countries. President Wilson stood up for Albania and the Albanian nation. Today, there is this small country of Albania, the size of Maryland, with about 3 million people, beautifully located on the western edge of the Balkan Peninsula. I turned to literature to understand President Wilson's kindness, and a realization came across. The American Constitution has only 4,543 words, for comparison, more like two newspaper pages, and it takes about half an hour to read. I share the belief of many people that the United States of America is an idea. It never stops evolving. And I see that in the way America is ruled. The basic rights, including pursuit of happiness, are protected by Constitution. The rest of rules, besides the amendments, are reflected or adopted as problems rise, making the idea, thus the United States, even more compatible with time. I hope you agree with me that it is in the genes of American nation to accept and embrace change, to embrace what is different, to stand up for the right thing. This makes me speechless in a good way. Before I tell you more, Andy, I wanted you to know that immigration is hard even when it is a free choice, let alone when it is forced due to circumstances. I will refrain myself from talking about the current situation at the southern border because emotions are high on every side. But I'm glad to share with you here that the New Americans Media and America with an Accent has started working on a series on immigration issues. Hopefully, we will be able to shed a little light away from emotions and encourage change. Hope this letter finds you well. Till next time, Enkeda.